Hello, I've got a question from a YouTube friend. He was asking me how to use um, ISO flanges on, on NC pipe. Uh, there are two solutions for that. Um, the second, I'm just going to mention it. I would not recommend it because the first one is the accepted, approved, recommended solution from Autodesk. So they've given us the tools. Um, I don't see any reason for using the second one, but I'll just mention it later. Um, so let's just look at the look at the styles. He wants to use um, ASME B36 with a ISO 7005. So we're gonna, we're gonna make a copy and we're gonna edit it. And we're gonna choose flanged and also mixed styles. So now we're gonna have to choose the flange. I don't know exactly, he didn't say which one he wants to use. So it's gonna be one, two or three. I'll just go for one and then I'll choose um, 16 nominal pressure, sorry, 16 nominal pressure. I'm guessing that's what he wants to use. And it'll come up in here. And then you can save, close. Oh, did I make it active? Yeah. And then you can finish. But don't expect Inventor to populate um, the flanges. Even if you go and choose one that's already, uh, that's flanged. So let's just choose this one for a second. Even the default ones do not come in with flanges at the end. So you're gonna have to... Oh, sorry. My shortcuts are not working. Um, you're gonna have to drop it yourself. But that's how you do mixed flanges. Um, sorry, mixed units. Um, and for better info, Chris Banner has already documented all this. So you can go to his blog and you'll see all this. Um, and he's also uh, mentioning uh, the second solution, as in the second solution would be to edit your content center. Would you go to content center? First, let's look at the, how this shows up in content center. You'll have a couple of key columns in um, Imperial and metric, then size designation comes in in Imperial and metric as well. Uh, so the second solution that I was going to suggest is you can copy this to your library and you add this info. Because the problem is if you don't want to use mixed styles, which you should because it's recommended and it's approved, um, let's just go for the style for a second. So the, the problem is, as soon as you try and choose a flange, the, the value in the, in the key column needs to match. So if in the key column you have 6 inch, then you're going to have to copy the uh, ISO flange over to your library and change the, the DN, the key column information, and add this in inches. Because normally what you have in metric is you have M15 and M32, 25, 40, 50, and so on and so on to let you know that it's a metric um, fitting. So you need to, the, the information needs to match. Otherwise, as soon as you choose something, if I would clear everything out, the first element that I would put in would filter the rest of the fittings. Right now I can only choose uh, fitting that has six inches inside the key column in content center. So that's all we can choose. This has six inches. Uh, where was it? Because it's been added, added as a dual standard. So you have both info, and that's why it, it shows up. Otherwise, it's exactly what Chris is recommended. He was trying to use a DIN flange. So he copied it over and uh, where is that? He created two columns. He's, he created the columns, ND1, ND2, and you specified the metric and the imperial sizes. 
and that's how you get it to show up in a in a, in, in a filter and this is it check his blog he's got all this documented and I'll see you all next time.